Hi, Craig from Lamlight Window Cleaning here in Salt Lake City. Thought I'd give whoever's interested a closer look at the work van that we have. This is a, a Ram Promaster City. And you can see the wrap that we've put on it. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at what's on the inside. All right, so here below we have all of our sectional ladders and all of our extension, extension poles and a couple of buckets. Uh, and then having all that stuff stored below, that leaves the whole top deck available for all the, all the smaller tools and bins and towels and such. So uh, I think what we'll do is we'll pull out wide and uh, give you guys a, a fast motion uh, view of all of the stuff coming out so you can see exactly what's packed in here. And then we'll put it all back. All right, let's take a closer look of what's in here. Um, if you look down here, I fabricated this shelf system such that everything has its own little cubby, and that makes it so you can pull out whatever pieces you need without having to move anything else. So it's really convenient and quick to, to get geared up for the job. This whole uh, shelf system actually pulls out. It's pretty heavy, but it's not connected really, so you can actually slide this whole thing out, and leaving this whole cargo space available for a pallet or whatever you need. Have to move move your your neighbor's couch or whatever so um, pretty convenient pretty pretty nice little system let's start putting stuff back in you can kind of see how everything where everything goes so here we go this is just the uh, various chemicals that I use we put that usually all the way up in front this is just a duffel of uh, ladder accessories like different straps and uh, uh, non-skid pad, non pads and stuff like that. And then some other general tools like screwdrivers and um, pliers and hammers and stuff. So, let me get that situated around the side here. And this is just an extra set of filters for my um, water purification system. And this is my catch-all bin for extra sponges and uh, wasp spray and um, rubber gloves and all kinds of different uh, extras. Put that right there. Each one of these two bins is um, everything that one technician needs uh, as far as their tool belt. Uh, so this is technician two, technician one, right over there. So this is technician one. And I have this bin for dirty towels. and then an identical bin for clean towels. And so as I cycle through them, they just move to the dirty bin and then I just switch them and take it inside to clean. <laughs> Fold it with love. All right, I got a little hand vac here for, for uh, tracks. It goes right down there. And then a big beach towel that I use for uh, drop cloth. set of uh, slip-on shoe covers. And here's my hydro tube, water purification, with the supply hose. I put my water fed pole right up top here, across the top of this, this hanger bar. And it just pokes through the cage there to hold it in place. And then once we get uh, moving, we'll put a bungee cord around the top of it up there to keep it from moving around at all. I can do that right now. So that 
secures that. All right, keep my 200 feet of hose, uh, water fed pole hose right here on the spool. Oh, I need the ladders. I got a set of ladder standoffs that just hang over the same bar right here. And I have a lucky enough to have a little half, half piece of ladder that just goes on this top shelf up here on the right. And here's my uh, in, indoor Stingray cleaning system. It just slides in here along with that half piece of ladder. Nice and out of the way. And then some extra pads and some extra solution for that. Just that's on the shelf right in front of that. Ready to go. On the other side, on the top shelf, I keep this three-step ladder. This slides in like a drawer. Then I have a handful of extension poles. Here's a 12-footer. Just slides in that PVC pipe right there. And a couple of eight footers so that if two, a two man crew is on a storefront, they could both keep working on uh, transoms, whatever high stuff they have. And then I got a little shorty that slips right there as well. Okay, so each side gets four pieces of six foot stack ladder. There's the two middle pieces for this side. Here's the base section for this side. And this is the tip for this side. And I've out, actually outfit this ladder with some extra padding and uh, such that it, that it doesn't mar up gutters or anything that you have to lean the, this part of the ladder on. So it's been pretty nice. And that just slides in this top shelf, or second to top shelf, I should say. And then the exact same thing on the other side for a second set. Two pieces there. Another base there. And another tip there. The nice thing about these particular ladders is that I don't know if this was a design intention, but that's the perfect size to hold a five gallon bucket. Let me show you. So this fits right here. Just keep a gamma lid so the liquid could stay in there. And here's another one. And so that's everything that we had out. It goes in pretty comfortably. Everything's fairly accessible. Um, nice thing about this run ProMaster City, uh, I guess we lucked out, but this is, this is the exact length needed, basically to the inch, to house these ladders the way that they're stacked. So if I close this, then there is about that much clearance between the, the end of the ladder and the inside of the door. So it's a perfect fit. Hope you enjoy.